Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I chose to do this song. For those of you who saw the video about the new Con 88 HNV that was released, I played a little bit of Song for Japan in that video. So I decided to go ahead and just record the whole thing and make a video of it and post it on my channel. The reason I decided that was this is one of my favorite pieces for trombone ever. I get asked that question a lot. You know, what's your favorite piece for trombone? And I always say Song for Japan. I love the solo version, duet, quartet, octet is super fun. I actually have a video of the octet version here on my channel that I did with the Cast of Blast. I'll put the link down in the description so you can go check that out if you want. But yeah, I've actually never recorded the solo version until now, so I was really happy to do that. Again, I just love this piece. I first heard it on a recital when I was in college. My teacher at the time, Doug Yo, played it on bass trombone at one of his recitals, and I immediately just kind of fell in love with the piece and the sounds. It was just so beautiful. It also has a really like personal meaning to me. For those of you who haven't known or don't know, I lived in Japan for four years, and I've been touring in Japan on and off since 2008. This piece was written for the relief efforts for the huge earthquake and tsunami that hit Fukushima in 2011. When I was on tour with Blast in Japan in 2012, when we went to Fukushima, we were the first show that opened back up in that theater after the big disaster had happened. So I remember that being a really cool feeling and I remember the residents of the city just being really happy and really appreciative that we were there and they were just so excited to see live music again. It was crazy to go around the city and still see a year later there was still so much damage that had happened. So we were really happy to be there that we could you know, share music and perform for the people of Fukushima. Also, like I said, I lived in Japan for four years and obviously I made a lot of friends and contacts while I was there and everyone had a story about 2011, what happened. Even friends that I had living in Tokyo would share their experience of like what happened in 2011 with that huge earthquake tsunami. So yeah, this piece just has a really special meaning for me um, because I have such a huge connection to the country of Japan. So. I love it as a standalone piece, just the melody itself, but also like what it makes me think about when I play it. So yeah, love this tune. I was happy to record it. I also wanted to show some photos that I took during my time in Japan or some of my friends took during my time in Japan. So I want to kind of showcase those throughout the video. So yeah, that was just a little backstory to the video. I hope you appreciated it. Do me a favor. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. You can also like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what are some of your favorite pieces to play for trombone, some of your favorite trombone solos. I'd love to know. I am over on Patreon. If you want to join us over there, we have lots of perks going on. We have a community. We have a Facebook group. We've been doing master classes and videos and stuff like that. So please go check it out. Thank you so much to all my patrons. I have all their names on the end screen coming up soon so you can check them out. If you'd like to take a lesson with me, I am teaching lessons over Zoom. So please go visit my lessons website. It's down in the description. I'd love to hear from you. All right. And that's about it. I'll see you later. Bye.